Did you know that you can make jigs for under $1.50? If not, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make your own jigs for under $1.50. When you make your own jigs, you can customize everything that you want. That's one of the beauties of making your own custom tackle. Jigs are fished all over the country and year round. And if you're fishing a jig right, you're gonna be breaking them off because you're gonna be in the heaviest of cover. So you're gonna be saving tons of money by making them yourself. And then as you can see, I got the computer in front of me. So I'm gonna take you guys over to a tackle building website where you can get all the stuff that we're gonna be talking about in today's video. I'm gonna break it down to you, some of the startup costs and then the ongoing costs to make your own jigs for under a buck 50. So let's dive into the computer and show you exactly what we're gonna be making in this video and some of the equipment that you're gonna need in order to do this yourself. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be making Arky style jigs. The mold in particular can make quarter, three eighth and half ounce Arky jigs. The price of the mold is $55. One of the other things that we're gonna need is lead. You can buy lead from this website for $28.50, which is gonna give you five pounds, or you can buy it in 10 pounds, which is gonna cost you $43.50. One thing about lead is there's a lot of other options in order to get your lead. I get a lot of lead at recycling centers. Sometimes people just have it available for free, but I'm gonna break it down for you in this video to show you exactly how many jigs you can make with that five pound ingot. And then when we're making these jigs, you're definitely gonna need to have something to melt down your lead with. What I'm quoting you guys right here is the Palmer Hot Pot 2. This is $69 and the lead is gonna go into this part right here. It's gonna melt it down and then you can see this little spout on the side is gonna be where that lead comes out and you pour it into the top of your mold. Once we get out in the garage, we're gonna start making these jigs. You're gonna see me with the Lee Production Pot 4. I've used the Hot Pot 2 in the past, but I make a lot of jigs and a lot of different tackle items. So I use the Lee Production Pot 4, but I've made a lot of stuff using this Hot Pot 2 and it's a great way to get started. So the next thing that we're gonna to need to have in order to make these jigs is the hook. In this video, we're gonna be using Victory Hooks. This is the 11798 model. I like this V-lock bend right here in that hook. Uh, obviously they come in three, four, and five aught sizes. In today's video, we're gonna be using the four aught. These hooks cost $21 for 100, so that breaks down to 21 cents a piece. And then you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to what color jigs you're gonna make. In this video, we're gonna be doing a green pumpkin color. This Protec powder paint is $8.20 and you're gonna be able to make a ton of jigs with that one little cup of powder paint. And then of course, to make that awesome, beautiful jig, you're gonna to need to have a skirt on there. These are pre-banded skirts. Right now they're on sale for $2.72. They're normally $3.89 and there's a ton of different colors to choose from. And we're gonna be using the green pumpkin purple color, which is just a staple for any kind of clear and stained water. Another thing that you're gonna need is a weed guard for your jig. We're gonna be using green pumpkin weed guards. The weed guards are what's gonna keep that bait from getting hung up in that thick cover that you're fishing these jigs around. They're not always gonna keep you from getting hung up, but they do make a big difference. So I broke down all these different pieces and products that you're gonna need in order to make these jigs. On a spreadsheet that we're gonna check out in just a second, I've broken it down to get to how you can see that these are a dollar, under $1.50, when you have these startup costs covered and you're making these jigs going forward. So I'm gonna bring up that spreadsheet right now on the computer and I broke everything down. So the total, if you piecemeal everything out is 200 bucks. That's a high price for one-time purchases, but with the average jig being $5, it's gonna take you 40 jigs to break even on all the startup costs. If you're fishing a jig in the right areas, you're gonna break off 40 jigs probably this year if you fish a fair amount. Now, if you never go fishing, maybe this isn't for you. But if you fish a lot and you fish a lot of jigs or a lot of different types of jigs, or you fish a lot of different water clarity, so you're buying a lot of different colors jigs, then maybe this is something that you wanna consider doing. You will save money in the long run by making your own jigs. So now we're gonna get back over to the spreadsheet and I wanna break down how I got to the under $1.50 per jig. What we have right here is 17 cents per half ounce jig. If you're making half ounce jigs with that entire five pounds, you can make 167 jigs. That's a lot of jigs. 21 cents per jig for the hook. The powder paint is almost nothing per jig because you can make more than 167 jigs with that one powder paint cup. The skirts break down to 70 cent, 78 cents per jig. 
If you buy these in bulk, that price is even gonna go down even further. You can buy loose material of silicone skirt material. You can buy the skirt collars by themselves. There's a lot of options when it comes to skirt collars, but for sake of the video and keeping things simple, I wanted to do pre-banded skirts. Now the weed guards are an added cost, obviously, and those are 15 cents per jig. If you add all that up, you're gonna get under $1.50. So as you can see, there are startup costs, but the ongoing cost of making these jigs is almost almost nothing, guys. $1.30 a jig is almost nothing. So if you didn't notice already, the website that I'm using in this video is the Dual Molds website. If you go to the Dual Molds website to buy any of the stuff that we're talking about, please use the link that I have in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link. And if you click on it and you go to their website and buy anything from the website using that link to go to the website, they'll know that I sent you and I can get credit for any of those sales. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head out to the garage and we're gonna make these jigs. What I wanna show you at the end of the video is how you can get into this hobby, into the tackle making hobby and making these exact Arky jigs even cheaper than we outlined here when you include the startup costs. The ongoing costs are still gonna be under that $1.50 but Dual Molds has a product that is gonna cut that down for you even more. All right, so we're out here in the garage and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make these jigs that I just quoted you on. So you can see right here that I have the mold up on top of the lee pot. I do that to heat up the mold so that way everything inside the mold gets nice and hot, helps that lead flow in there a little bit better, and then you don't have as many times where you get incomplete pours and you're just a little bit more efficient at making these jigs. Right here we have our Victory hooks in the 11798 model and the 4 out. We're gonna use 4 out for both of the jigs that we're gonna be making today. This is the Victory V-Lock hook. You're gonna notice the nice little bend on the hook once we get them in the mold. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our Victory hooks into the mold. Everything should fit nice and easily. We're gonna put our base hole pins in to make the hole for the weed guard. Now everything's in there nicely. We just need to close up this mold. Now that the mold's closed, you always wanna make sure everything's nice and flush along the top. If it's not flush, you're gonna end up getting flashing, which will end up ruining your jig. One thing I like to do before pouring the lead into the mold is just check for good flow out of the pot itself. Have good flow. When you're using the hot pot too, you don't have to worry about this because it just works like a ladle. You just pour it right in. So what we're gonna do is get our mold in the right spot, pour everything in. And I don't remember where these cavities are, where the hooks are, so we're just gonna fill up all three cavities. That's the empty one, that's why it's running out. Nothing was blocking that base hole pin. So these are the two that I actually had the hooks in. You're gonna wanna let this mold and those jigs cool down slightly before you open everything up. It's probably been long enough now, so we're gonna open up our mold and check out our jigs. Everything in the mold turned out really good. As you can see, we had the flashing right here because there was nothing blocking that uh, base hole pin or that weed guard spot, so that lead was flowing out. But our two Arky jigs that we had the hooks and components in turned out really well. Everything's filled in nicely. And then what I like to do is just use a pair of pliers to pull out my jigs. Just gotta wiggle it a little bit and they come out easily. So if you guys are wondering, this stuff right here, this extra lead is not lost. I can put it right back into my pot and melt it down for later. All right, so this top part right here is called the sprue and we need to cut that off. I just like to use a pair of shears and you just grab this hook and you're just gonna cut that sprue off. And do it on the next one. And then I like to take a file and I file that down so it's nice and smooth. And then just like that, we have nice looking smooth Arky head jigs that are ready to go and paint. So as we talked about, we need to get some Protec powder paint in order to paint the heads of these jigs. This color is called Green Pumpkin Special. I think these are gonna pair up really, really good with these skirts that we have going. So the next step in this process requires heating those jig heads back up. I like to use a heat gun in order to do that. There are other ways to do it. You can take a, a butane torch, a lighter. There's multiple ways that you can heat up the heads of your jigs in order to dip it into that powder paint because when you heat it up, it goes in that powder paint and it ends up melting the powder paint onto the head of that jig. So you have to have some sort of heat source in order to get that paint to apply onto the head of jig. All right, so there's a process to painting these jigs. The first one is you gotta shake up your powder paint if you're gonna be painting out of these cups. You can use what's called a fluid bed that shoves air up into the powder paint and it keeps constant airflow coming through so you don't have to shake it. But for this one, we're painting out of the cup, so we're gonna need to shake up our powder paint to loosen it up. 
Then obviously we need our heat source. And then what I like to do is take a pair of pliers and my jig and I just put it over the top of the heat source and go back and forth. Depending on how heavy of a jig you're using depends upon how long you're going to need to heat it up. I like to say probably around 15 seconds is a good place to start. So I just kind of talked to you guys through this whole process. So what I'm gonna do now is do it myself so that way you can see it all going on on screen. Shake it up, get the cap off. We're gonna turn our heat gun on. And since I just turned that heat gun on, it's gonna take me a little bit longer in order to get the jig hot because the heat gun itself hasn't heated up yet. Then we're just gonna dip it into our powder paint like that. I like to shake off the extra, not enough on there. Put it back over the top to get a good idea of what the color it looks like. I think we could do a little bit more. That looks a lot better. All right, so the next part in the process is taking that base hole pin out. You wanna do this when everything's hot so it doesn't chip the paint or anything like that. Since I'm filming this video, I had to wait till it cooled down a little bit so that way I could get everything on camera, make sure that I shot the footage good enough. But normally I do it when it's, everything's nice and hot so that way you don't have any issues, no chipping or anything like that. So the next thing we need to do is clean out the eye of our hook. I like to use this eye buster tool. You simply put the eye into the eye buster tool and press down. I like to do it on both sides and that cleans everything out. And then what I like to do is take it a step further and take a hook of a jig that I've already made and really clean everything out nicely. So that way I have no issues and that hook eye isn't plugged up at all. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is run through this process one more time quickly. I walked through the first time, now I'm just gonna do it real quick on my own. The next step in the process is baking your jigs. What you see in front of you is a clamping rack. That's what it's called. And you can set your jigs in there so they're positioned upright like this. You take these clamps and you put them down on the sides and it tightens everything up. And the benefit to this is that if you have any of your powder paint drip down, it's gonna drip down on the shank of your hook rather than filling up the eye or puddling up on the backside of your jig. All right, so having a clamping rack is not mandatory. You can set your jigs in just like I did and have them upside down. The only problem with that is sometimes you get paint that accumulates on the bottom side of your jig and you're gonna have to file it down or it could possibly ruin your jig itself. I've painted a lot of jigs just like this, so I don't think it's anything that you can't do yourself. It is nice having the clamping rack at times though. So when we go to bake these, we're just gonna put the clamping rack inside, close everything up. Then we're gonna go over and set our timer for 20 minutes and we're already set for 350 degrees. So baking your jigs is not mandatory. However, I highly recommend it. Your paint gets much more durable once you bake it on there. It kind of cures everything around the head of the jig and now they're ready to go. So let's check them out. But again, not mandatory, but highly recommended. Now it's time to put our skirts on our jigs. That's what I'm gonna do first. And then after that, we'll put our weed guards on. But one thing I wanna make sure you guys are aware of when you're putting your skirts on is you wanna have one side longer than the other side. And the sides that's shorter, that's the side the hook point's gonna go down into. What we're gonna do is gonna take the hook point and go right down through the middle of our jig. Slide everything through. Make sure you get your skirt down towards the bottom so you can see everything. You're just gonna slide it on up. Being careful not to mess up your skirt collar. Keep it all nice and smooth. Fix your skirt out like that. And now we just gotta put that weed guard on. Now when it comes to putting in the weed guard, you can either use two-part epoxy or a super glue. I like to use two-part epoxy. I feel like it's just a little bit more durable. Now what you wanna do with the two-part epoxy is get it evenly parted. It's two parts, so one-to-one -one ratio. So what I like to do is get a little bit out there and move it over so that way I can really manipulate the amount that I put down there. That should be good enough for these two jigs that we're making. So now that we have both parts mixing together, we don't need a lot for these two jigs. We're just gonna mix everything together. That should be good enough. Now when it comes to putting that weed guard in, you simply take your weed guard, put it into the epoxy. It doesn't take a lot, get it on there. And now we're just gonna put that weed guard right into the hole that was made with our base hole pin. Put it in there nice and firm. And then we just let that thing dry. And now we have a nice Arky jig, just about ready to go fishing. All right, so we got a close up of our jigs out there in the sunlight to give you all that green color, that green pumpkin jig. These things are gonna flat out catch them. 
don't know about you guys, but I think those jigs turned out really, really good. We're back in the house and I wanna show you the product that Duo Molds has to offer that is gonna cut those starter costs down significantly. And it's gonna be kind of a one-stop shop for you to get into making these Arky head jigs. And what they have available is the Weedless Arky kit with melter and lead. This is $155, so it's already massively discounted. Comes with the Arky jig that we were talking about. It's gonna come with three aught, four aught, and five aught hooks from Victory in the 10798 model. The only difference between those hooks and the ones that we were using is instead of the V-lock, it's the round bend. You're gonna get FG30 weed guards, which is the weed guard that you want for this mold. It's gonna come with the hot pot two that I already showed you guys and the five pounds of lead. So if you get this product, all you're gonna need to buy is the skirts and the powder paint. So for 155 bucks, you're gonna get 300 hooks, 100 weed guards, the mold, the lead, the melter. So all you end up having to buy is some skirts and some powder paint and you're ready to go. Well guys, I hope this video was informative for you and showed you how to make these jigs and got you interested in this tackle making hobby. Again, if you're gonna go to the website to buy any of this stuff, please use my Do It Molds affiliate link so that way they know that I sent you. And if you wanna see me make any more jigs, make sure to click on the video that's right here on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.